every day I use math from basic arithmetic all the way, but mostly to dose drugs and uh, to time procedures, to dose viruses and to calculate viral titers. I use math simple and advanced both in my clinical work and in my research, which is most of what I do at Stanford. For research, I acquire raw data and I transform that raw data into an interpretable, understandable form. So I have a bunch of numbers that tell me how particular cells behave at different concentrations of the drug. And fundamentally, it's underlying math that lets me convert that first into a graph, lets me normalize the statistics, lets me fit a curve to that, and lets me come up with a final value of how effective that drug is in that particular situation. I was a math minor in undergrad because I specifically knew I wanted to use math in research, essentially. Basically, I sequenced the antibody repertoire of people that have staph infections, and then over the people who came to the hospital multiple times for an infection, and looking at how their antibody repertoire changes over time. So using computational analysis to study that. At the moment, I just use math to, you know, calculate concentrations of proteins from standard curves. I use for just regular, like, make dilutions, make buffers, that kind of stuff, relatively simple. But I will be using more complicated math in microarray analysis, PCA, that kind of stuff. And I will be using it in the future for polysaccharides interactions and, like, gelation. It's, like, material engineering for polysaccharides for in, uh, biofilms. Yeah, mostly stats. We do a lot of genome-wide screens, which kind of involves a lot of data points, and we use math to see significance if certain hits are like, enriched or depleted, and if that is significant or not. I've mostly been using math for statistical analyses. Probably the biggest thing I've used it more recently is to analyze sequencing data. So if we do like genomic profiling of a population in the microbiome, I look at taxonomic differences and see if there's like a statistical difference between the percentage of that group that's made up of one phylum versus another. When we're calculating dose titrations for finding how much a drug uh, gives a lethal dose of you know, killing 50% of cells or any other dose or amount of cells we want dead, obviously you need to calculate that, so that's very important. Not to mention all statistical work that needs to be done in order to gain significance with results and show that result is true, not just happening by random chance.